foggy. Boy, we had hit it good today. The uh, nice and cloudy, the barometer's dropping, and the fish are biting. There isn't a single soul on the lake. Uh, we haven't seen another boat in two hours, and it's only two o'clock. So, let me show you what we're catching them on. You can probably catch them on just about everything, but we did not get any topwater fish today. We got some uh, crankbait fish, small crankbaits. But right now we're just, man, this one feels heavy. We did catch a lot of solid fish here today. And uh, you can see that over my shoulder here that there's a lot of nice chunky rock. So we, we ducked into the, out of the wind just for a minute just to shoot some of this. And, and these fish are everywhere on the whole lake. You can see the secondary point that I just caught this fish off right here. Off from the outside. There he is. Man, he, he's out of uh, 26 feet of water. So they're they're when you bring them up, bring them up slow so you can let them go. Holy mackerel! They're all spawned out. This is the uh, ditcher, ditch digger, brush hog made by 5150. And uh, you can see how thin this bass is. Um, look at that. She's just all spawned out. She's out there in 25, right around 25, 27 feet. Let's let her go. Make sure she goes back down. Yep. So basically, I'm just takes this rig and this little uh, brush hog ditch sticker. Quarter ounce tungsten. Little, little uh, bead on there. Little uh, bobber stopper. Folks, make sure... Uh, that bait is straight and I'm gonna tell you something else these fish aren't biting they're not jerking your rod around you just got to have a real real sensitive rod I've got this Phoenix right now from uh, Gowdy over at Phoenix fishing he's got a good supply of these if you want to get a good pole this thing is really light and very sensitive um, you could fill them just barely touch it on the bottom of the uh, lake so come on out give it a try it's beautiful out here. Nobody's here. It's on a Monday. Thanks for watching my channel. Be sure to subscribe.